So let's see, we want to find some critical values for doing a, uh, a, t, a t test. So going back to StatCrunch, um, for the t distribution, I'm going to look up the t calculator under calculators, the t distribution. Uh, so for these, we have to set the, um, the degrees of freedom, and I have to set the uh, fix the tail to be the right way. So the first one, I'm looking at the critical value for a right tailed test for the population mean at alpha 0.05 with 10 degrees of freedom. So degrees of freedom is set to 10 coincidentally by default, but I want to do a right tailed test. So I click this to be uh, greater than or equal to, and now I'm going to set my alpha level. What was it? 0 0.05. Okay. So just correct that here and hit enter and I get my cutoff. This is great. Three decimal places, I'm gonna take 1.812 and bring it in here. My T critical value is equal to positive 1.812 for the right tail test. Now, for part B, I wanna do a left tail test. So let's just change that first. Left tail test, less than or equal to, um, Alpha level of 0.10, so let's just collect, correct that to 0.10. And I'm told I have a sample size of 15. That is not my degrees of freedom, that's the sample size. For these one sample uh, population mean tests, the degrees of freedom is one less than the sample size. 15 minus one, 14. That's what I want, set my alpha, set everything, and I got it. So I'm going to take, again, three decimal places, but I'm going to put the negative sign in the first pull down. Negative 1.345. And here now I've got a two-tailed test for with alpha at 0.10 so, uh, and with a sample size of 11. So let's get it all in. So we've got two-tailed. For two-tailed, I have to go to the between calculator. I set my... Um, now I want the, the probability out in the tails to be 0.10. The only way to get that with the T calculator is to use the complementary probability. That means I want 0.90 in between. Um, and my sample size of 11 tells me the degrees of freedom is going to be 10. Com you click compute and you're going to get um, your cutoffs. This is great. So it's 1.8125, that's 1.813. This requires me to put plus or minus, 1.813. I don't know why it wanted it at 812. That's not right.